Hey guys, it's Alex here, and uh, yes, this is actually uh, the Charlton save, and this is where I am at the moment. I am currently with Oldham right now, but I will show you what's been happening actually uh, with Charlton first. Um, after I was sacked, um, Charlton hired uh, Terry Butcher from uh, Iverness. Um, he, they are actually, uh, let's see if I can go squad fixtures and then last year after I had actually um, taken them to 7th yes 7th um, where up uh, beat blah 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 beat them beat them here we go um, got them up to here and we were in 7th place he then proceeded to lose to Aston Villa draw with Doncaster lose to Wigan uh, draw with Birmingham lose to Leeds he actually beat QPR one of his only wins this season then went on a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 game without a win, without within 3 wins, actually. Did pretty well. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday, loss, Blackburn, loss, Blackpool, loss. Also, um, on transfer news, as soon as he uh, came in, he then uh, currently sold Dale Stevens and then sold Ben Hayer, players I wanted to keep, um, and then let these players go and brought in these players. Somehow, they have money for him now. Um, but yeah. So when I left them, I was in seventh with them, right seventh, eighth, ninth, right on the edge of the ch the um, the playoffs. And then currently, well, actually, they finished the season in fourteenth, about how many points off? Twelve, yeah, no, twenty-two points off when I was three points off. So uh, well done, the board. You re you really made a great decision there. And this season they lost the first game and they've drawn one. Um, they, well, they've got one win, they beat Swindon, it's alright, uh, lost 4-0 to Blackburn, but yeah, so I was looking for jobs, no one even wanted me, but for some reason Premier League clubs would consider my interest and then reject me, but actually, um, yeah, eventually uh, Oldham offered me a job, which is actually not the best move really, in a way, um, if I look at their fixtures... Um, I took over at the end of last year. They had four games remaining and were bottom of the league. Lost the four ga first game 4-1 to Colchester. Didn't think we deserved that loss. Um, Corey Smith got us the goal. 0-0 against Coventry. 1-1 against Carlisle. Uh, Richie Barriolet got off, off a goal there. And Notts County drew 0-0. So in the end, we did get relegated second bottom with 45 points. But I got three draws and a loss. I, it was pretty compared to whatever. They hadn't lost won a game in a long time so it didn't look that good for us um, but now we're in League 2 I think we can mount a cha uh, title challenge I've kept nearly almost all of my players um, this is the transfers going on from last season uh, I released Anton Rogers he went out David Mellor, Luke Simpson these players you don't really know Charlie McDonald I think maybe you might have known he left um, but coming in these are the players coming in in, um, we have Seko Fafana with, from Man City, a defensive midfielder, because we are, well, they are our parent club. Uh, Lloyd James, a uh, centre mid, Welsh centre mid, uh, good cover. Uh, Emma Hughes, a young winger who's going to be in the reserves, hopefully he can improve himself there. He's got can play anywhere over the midfield, which is very good. Uh, loaned Will, May uh, Will Hayhurst from uh, Preston, a left winger who can... Uh, He's going to be our starting left winger, I think, uh, which is pretty good. Bought, uh, not more well, bought. Um, Bradley Halliday came in on a free, 19-year-old uh, centre mid and right mid. He's going to be going out on loan. Good um, youth there. Ross Dardis, Dardis a um, regen from Northern Ireland striker uh, midfielder. He's got some pretty good stats. They're not the best to report, but he's got some great stats there. Hopefully, he can improve and do well for us. Um, and then some great signings here. These are all, I think, really good signings. So um, I, after this, I hadn't really found anyone. But then I went into the under-21s and under-19s of um, Europe and looked for players. But we can't scout them, so I just offered trials to everyone. So firstly, we brought in uh, this man, uh, Labros Abadiotakis, a 17-year-old uh, Greek right winger. He's got some great stats on him, actually. Um, crossing 15, dribbling 14... Not the best pace, but he looks very good for and for only a hundred pounds a week, and seventeen looks very good. Then on the other wing, you can actually play anywhere along the left, apart from attacking mid left, is uh, 
Ilias Afuzanidis. Um, great, uh, 18 year old, only 160 pounds a week. Um, he looks very good also. Looks like he can develop well. Um, also, Bensa Sienz, Sienz or something, a Hungarian striker. He's only 20 years old. Um, he looks very good. He's got some good uh, striker stats there, finishing 13. He looks like he'll be challenging for a first team space. Uh, also, we brought in Alan Navarro, 33 year old centre mid for a year. Um, got some great mental stats there, so hopefully he can sort of shore up the midfield, um, give us some experience there. Jordan Hart, 18 year old Scottish goalkeeper, um, going to be our backup goalkeeper because our last one we released. Um, so, yeah, he can develop well. And then finally, uh, Daniel or O. Shrenesi, a Finnish centre back actually, and left back. I think he's also Irish. Yes, he is. Um, 19 years old, but he's done very well for us. Like he looks very good stats actually. It was kind of weird because if you offer a trial to someone, they'll want more money. But as soon as they get released from that trial, they'll go. You don't need to pay him as much. Like he wanted like a thousand pounds, but then I got him for 525 pounds, and he was getting interest from like championship clubs and whatnot. But yeah, I'll just take you through the squad actually, because you don't really know many of the players in the squad. Um, look, we got quite a bit of sort of different group of players. Look how many different uh, nationalities there are here. Um, but yeah, our main goalkeeper is uh, Ian Turner, 33 year not 33, 30 year old Scottish goalkeeper. Um, he's going to be here for a few, I think, while uh, Scotland was it Scotland. Jesus, I've already forgot his name. Hart Jordan Hart pff, um, is try. Uh, training. Uh, Michael Harriman is our uh, right back, 21 years old, pretty good there. He's going to be our starting left back, right back. We've got some great centre backs actually. Uh, one of them, Junior uh, Tam, a 29 year old Cameroonian centre back. Um, very good. James Tarkowski, a 21 year old uh, English centre back also. He looks very good for us. Uh, Jonathan Grounds, a left back, a 26 year old English. He looks very good too. Um, we got some great actually centre backs, but a lot of them are, the contract is a problem. Like they won't take contracts past a year, so I have to do daily like yearly contract updates. Um, our current right mid is James Dray Dayton, 25 year old Englishman. Looks pretty good. Uh, Corey Smith is the man of the team. He's the captain, 23 years old. 23, yeah, 23 years old. He's got some great stats on him. Um, the, the report's the best. Um, he's just our main centre mid. Alan Navarro, Will Hayhurst, Adam Rooney. This is a he's a great striker for us Irish. Obviously, I think you know him. 26, but he's a very good player. Penalty taking 19. Um, and then also Richie Barriolet, a 20-year-old French striker. He'll be competing with um, Chest che <laughs> to get um, the team. So also we got the Greek players here. Matteo Lanzoni is also an Italian uh, centre back. He looks pretty good. Uh, Daniel F Phyllis Skirk, a backup striker. Uh, Connor Brown, he's a backup right back, 21 years old, looks pretty good. He'll make some appearances. Greg Ro Robertson, an older Scottish left back, I don't think he'll ma be making as many appearances this year. Um, Kasunga, another centre back who can cover. Uh, we've got great centre backs here. Christian Montano, 22 year old Colombian, he wants out. Um, I'm, I'm happy to, for him to leave because he's not the best striker, to be fair. Um, and then Wesley Woski, a Northern New Zealand, yeah, no Australian, Oof. Uh, 26 um, centimetre, 26 year old centimetre, he looks pretty good. He, he's good um, cover. Also Sydney Schmelz, his our Dutch winger who can play either wing, and he'll be one of our starting players for us. So yeah, we got a really good team here, especially for League Two. Like most of these players are League One players. I'm surprised they all stayed. Um, but yeah, we had our first few fixtures in the league. Um, it's not fixtures. Um, if we go to the next season. So we had some good friendlies here. We won our first game against Walsall, who also came down with us 4-2. Adam Rooney with two. Corey Smith and a Preston own goal is actually our left uh, winging uh, Greek player who's got us there. We had Leeds in the first round of the Capital One Cup. Not the best. But we actually only lost 3-2. Took the lead through uh, Shins, and then Corey Smith got us a goal there. But we played well for seeing as they're a championship and we're a League 2, which was very good. And then we just had Berry, and we beat him 2-0. Um, Afu uh, Zanidis with his first goal there, and Richie uh, Barriolet set up by our uh, other Greek winger as well. So we had we started very well. Um, we're currently sitting 
top of the League 2. Uh, two wins out of two, six goals for two against. So yeah, look, things are looking pretty, pretty good at the moment uh, for us. So I'm, I'm happy to be here. Um, hopefully I can sort of work my way back up the league and just this will be my England save really. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it's been Alex and I'll see you guys later.